Hi. Now in this example, what I want to do is show you how we can go about finding the general equation of a normal at the point P, which has coordinates 80 squared to 80 on this parabola with equation y squared equals 4ax. So to do something like this, what we've got, first of all, is this point. It's a general point on this curve. So let's just suppose it's this point here, the point P then with coordinates 80 squared and 280. So we're looking then for the general equation of the normal through this point. Well, this would be the tangent, something like that, and the normal would obviously be a line at right angles to that tangent passing through that point. Now we know that the equation of the normal is going to be of the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. And what we don't have though is the gradient of this line. We have our x1 and our y1. x1 is 80 squared and y1 is 280 in general. But we don't have that gradient. So we can get the gradient of the tangent first of all by differentiating the curve and then substituting our points in. So that's the first thing that we need to do. We know that, let's just put since, we know that the x-coordinate is 80 squared and the y-coordinate is 280. We can find out what the gradient is in general, in other words dy by dx. And we do this by using the chain rule. dy dx equals dy by dt multiplied by dt by dx. Now, dy by dt, well that's going to be easy. We can find that dy dt in general is going to be 2a. Okay, 2a, a being a constant, so just 2a. When it comes to dt dx though, what we need to do is find out what dx by dt is and then do the reciprocal of it to get dt dx. So dx dt is going to be 2at if we differentiate that with respect to t. So therefore dy by dx will be equal to dy by dt which is 2a and we're multiplying that by 1 over 2at. In other words, dt dx is the reciprocal of 2at. 1 over 2at. Now this tidies up. The 2a here cancels into the 2a there. So you end up with 1 over t. Now remember that is the gradient of the tangent at any point on this curve. So when it comes to the gradient of the normal here, we need the negative reciprocal of this. Okay, So we can say that therefore the gradient okay, of the normal, the normal at P okay, is essentially the negative reciprocal minus T then. So we're now in a position to find out the general equation of this normal. We can say that therefore the equation of the normal, let's just give a header up here, equation of normal, we'll say at P, okay the P, and in fact we'll just write even those coordinates down again, 80 squared to AT. Now that equation is going to be y minus y1, y1 is 2at, and it's going to equal m the gradient which is minus t, and that's multiplied by x minus x1, x1 is 80 squared. So essentially that's it, but you could go on and expand this and tidy it up. If you did do that, you're going to get y minus 2at equals minus tx plus at cubed. And if we wanted to rearrange this with the x term first, we've got tx, and then we've got the y term next, plus y, and then if we say subtract 80 cubed from both sides, we've got 
minus 2at and minus 80 cubed equals 0. So there's a general form for the equation of this normal. OK, well, I hope that's given you some idea then. And that brings us to the end of this example.